So, eto pala yung Hamburg. Medyo kakaiba siya sa ibang city, ah. Can you believe it? It's a rainy morning in Dubai and I just got into the airport. I'm flying via direct flight from Dubai International Airport to Hamburg. See you! Mga friends, nasa airy pa ako pero nakikita ko na kung gaano kaganda ang landscape ng Hamburg. I'm so excited. After more than 7 hours, finally we're landing in just about a few minutes. There's a lot of greenery, right? And families. Hi guys, naglalakad pa rin ako dito sa Plantenum Blumen. It's an urban park with a size of 47 hectares dito mismo sa inner city ng Hamburg, Germany. Ang Plantenum Blumen pala is a low German for Plantenum Blumen or literally translated into plants and flowers in English. Very interesting and at the same time, very relaxing. So, pagka exit ko ng park, lumakad ako sa kabilang street. Hanggang sa napunta ako dito sa street na to na hindi ko alam is adult street pala. So, very open sila sa ganito. Pero maaga pa. Balik na lang tayo mamaya. <laughs> Joke lang. Hi guys! Second day of our Hamburg journey. Ayan. Naglalakad ako punta sa exhibition center kasi kanina pa ako nagbubuk ng bar wala talagang available na cards. So, yun. Pa ako nakakabili ng one week na metro ticket. Siguro mamaya, isasabi ko na sa pagbili ng SIM card. At the same time, wala pa rin akong data kaya hindi ako masyado nakaka-update. Anyway, uh, update ko lang kayo sa weather. Sa, uh, medyo malamig siya compared to kahapon. Siguro around mga 13-14 ngayon. So, I, did, I decided to ano, to walk na lang muna. Exercise na rin. Saka medyo mabigat itong bag ko kaya medyo hinihingal ako. Siguro mga around 14 kg to. And along the way, may nakita akong Korean fusion Asian restaurant. May kakainan ako mamaya. Winter sa Dubai. Ah, ayun, nakikita ko na yung church. Medyo malayo yung bahay ko dito. Yung hotel ko kasi <laughs> nauli kami sa pagbubuk. In a distance, we are seeing the Heinrich Church Tower. It is a landmark radio telecommunication tower here in Hamburg. And it's named after the Hamburg-born German physicist Heinrich Hertz. Ever wonder we heard about kilohertz, megahertz? Yes, it is derived after his name as well.
bangs today. Kailangan medyo formal formal and kasi opening ng show. Kailangan medyo mais na isang content. Okay yung mga kailangan na kakayaman. Siguro mga 12.30 degrees. Mm, medyo late na nakauwi ko gabi. Kasi pili tinapos yung mga requirements sa stand. Ha! Medyo kinakabahan. Pero usually ganito naman talaga yung pakaramdam ko. Every time yung mag-open ng show. Kasi although double check mo lahat yan. Or ano. May... Looking towards the hotel. One thing I have noticed dito sa my Hamburg, the nightlife is very, very much alive. Glowing. Everywhere, kahit saan ka mapunta, kahit saan ka mapadpad, may bar. Kasi lang, hindi tayo pumapasok dahil lagi tayong hinahanapan ng ID. Akala nila teenager pa ako. What? Pardo na experience sa pagbunta ng Germany ay matikman mo ang iba't ibang klasing beers dito. So, yun. Nagtry din. Bumili ako sa harap ng police station. Meron tindahan doon. So, eto. Sarap. Hi guys. Last day ng show. Medyo hindi ka tayo formal ngayon. Kuri kuri yan. Uh, sana okay. Kaso lang... Ano, maaga matatapos show ngayon. Bala ko sana pumunta sa mga tourist spots. Kaso, eto nga, laging umulan dito. Parang may enjoy. Okay sana, kaso lang, pag umulan, napakaginaw. Tapos, ayaw pa akong tantanan ng people ko sa ilong. Dapat kasi hindi ako makain ng itlog. Hindi kumain ako ng itlog. So, dahil yung ano, Rain gently falls, but never we say goodbye. Good morning. Thank you. One more. Thank you. Nandito tayo ngayon sa south entrance ng St. Michael's Church. St. Michael's Church is one of the Hamburg's five Lutheran main churches and actually one of the most famous churches in the city. St. Michael is, is a landmark of the city and is considered one of the finest Hanseatic Protestant Baroque churches. The church was purposely built Protestant. Hindi katulad ng mga ibang church na parang originally Roman Catholic sila tapos i-convert into Protestant na church during the Reformation times. It is actually dedicated to the Archangel Michael. Hmm. Very interesting. So, nandito ako sa labas ngayon. Naghihintay lang ako ng timing para para makapasok doon sa loob kasi marami pang tao doon sa loob so hinintay muna na yung iba makalabas tapos pwede naman pumasok yung susunod na batch uh, habang naghihintay uh, apakita ko sa inyo kung gaano kaganda yung pagkakagawa ng church na ito So this is it. Nakita ko na inaya na ako. Pwede na akong pumasok doon sa loob ng church. Ipapapakita ko sa inyo kung gaano kaganda ang church na ito. Let's go inside. It's breathtaking. At ito, pakinggan natin yung, ano, yung live instrument nila. 
Wow, very solemn. Guys, if you can see behind me, the tall structure is actually the Church of St. Nicholas. It was a Gothic Revival Cathedral that was formerly one of the five Lutheran main churches in the city of Hamburg. The original chapel, a wood building, was completed in 1195. Then it was replaced by a brick church in the 14th century, which was eventually destroyed by fire in 1842. The church was completely rebuilt by 1874 and it was the tallest building in the world from 1874 to 1876. Wow, interesting. So guys, nang pupunta tayo sa isa sa pinaka-popular na destination na landmark dito sa Hamburg, ang Speicherstadt. Ang hirap bigasin pero yun yun. It's the largest warehouse district in the world where the buildings stand on a timber pile foundations oak logs in this particular uh, case. It, located dito sa port of Hamburg within the Haven City Quarter and was built from 1883 to 1927. And ito palang uh, area na to ng Haven City is under redevelopment. And as the first site in Hamburg, it was awarded the status of UNESCO World Heritage last 5th of July 2015. Amazing. Well, in conclusion, iba talaga yung Hamburg sa, compared sa mga ibang European cities na napuntahan ko kasi mas laid back dito, mas relax yung mga tao. Tapos, karamihan sa mga old buildings na preserve nila, maganda talaga yung, ano, maganda talaga yung lugar. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagsama niyo sa akin sa pag explore dito sa Hamburg, Germany. But stay tuned kasi ang susunod natin na part 2 sa ating Germany tour ay ang Berlin. Very historical city. Kaya kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe sa akin, please subscribe now and then hit the bell button. Para maka-receive kayo ng mga updates galing sa Hey Eric Vlog. Thank you and God bless. Next episode sa Hey Eric Vlog, explore natin ang very historical city ng Berlin. Kaya tune in at huwag kayong mawawala. See you!